some time, doesn't have anybody wow. open. He's pretty good. Really dangerous. Yeah. Touchdown. Yeah. We are joined on the sideline on a wonderful Friday night. It's high school football season. The newest member of the CN100 Game of the Week crew, Jared Payton. Jared, Friday night fever. How you like being back on the sideline? This is something that I truly love. Um, you know, I played everywhere. I played in NFL, NFL Europe, Canada. But the one thing that I always think about is high school football and then my memories from high school football. I think about losing them, Marmion in the first round of playoffs. Uh, in, my, in 98, and it's crazy because it's this is what it's all about. This is where it starts, but this is where the game is so pure. Wow. That's back. Jared Payton is going to score a touchdown. Other than pureness, anything else that makes it different from maybe the college level in particular? Now it's changing a little bit because now kids are going all year long. Back when I was coming up, seven on seven was just being implemented into high school. So now you're having kids are a lot more time. But back then, in the day, you could play a couple of different sports. Now you can only play one if you want to have a chance to go to the next level. Now, speaking of playing different sports, I got to bust down you a little bit. When you got into high school, you played soccer. The pressure on this young kid, uh, who it really has never, Jared, has played a, a tackle football game, been a soccer player all along. Why did you gravitate to that sport? Because <sighs> growing up and coming into Barrington, all the kids were playing soccer. And my mom wouldn't let me play football. She was too afraid. She said I was too skinny. I was going to get hurt. But uh, it was something that I truly loved. And my dad kind of loved anything that I did. And I just, every year, I'm a competitor. I wanted to get better. I wanted to get better. I knew eventually I was going to have to try football. In his first competitive tackle football game, he will be starting at quarterback for St. Biter's Varsity. And of course, everybody is going to be anxious to see how he does. And it came in the same time my dad started when he was in uh, high school. It was his junior year, so it was like perfect timing. Your dad, Hall of Famer Walter Payton, did he talk to you about, hey, Jared, now's the time? He gave me a call. I was sitting at home in the kitchen. He said, you know what, Jared? It's hard. I said, I know that. All right, cool. Bye. And hung up the phone on me. I said, are you kidding me, Dad? That's all I get from the greatest football player to ever play? It's going to be hard? And it was. It was something that was hard. And you could see in my junior year, I really wasn't ready. And I had to learn the game a little bit. But by my senior year, I was ready to play. Here's Jared Payton. Boy, he squirts out. And here comes Jared Payton. Jared Payton may go all the way. Wow. Touch back. Jared Payton is going to score a touchdown. Check and bag for flags. There does not appear to be any one. A kickoff return. Can you believe it? Jared Payton takes it all the way on the kickoff return for the touchdown. Talk about raw athletic ability. The whole combination right there, Jared Payton. This is where it all started. And, uh, the greatest football I think I've ever played. This is one of the best kickoff returns you will ever see at any level. You talk about highlights in his house. So what other advice did he give to you? I'm sure he gave you a few more words of wisdom as you moved on your last two years in high school. You know, he said, never give up. You keep working hard. If you want something hard enough, you work hard and you get it. And so that was my biggest thing that I did. I'm just happy to be a part of this team now. CN100 presents the high school game of the week. This week's matchup, the Elk Grove Grenadiers take on the Friend Vikings. I am Perry Williams, and great to have you with us here on C100. And we're just thrilled to have our color analyst tonight, Jared Payton. What do you think you're going to bring to the cast? Just my experience, um, you know, playing in all the different levels that I have. I think I can, I can give a good insight. Perry, the power game is back on the field. You know, the focus goes on you as a quarterback. You can pitch it off to your running back, and next thing you know, he's in for six. That's what's going to get these defense a little softened up a little bit, and maybe they can start throwing the ball. That's what happens. You get the defense kind of stepping up a little bit, and great catch. Not be too critical, but give people out there what they need to know, and from my perspective, because I actually played the game, and hopefully people will think that I played it well. Great start to the second half. I always think it's good to have two running backs in the system. You know, one guy that's the power guy, the other guy that's the shifty guy. Picked up 11. Yeah. 11 yards, which is a first down. There you go. I got you. Obviously, you have played it well. You've, you've gotten to play it on a lot of different levels. What have you been doing lately, though? Lately, I have a radio show, uh, the Jared Payton Show Live on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. I do that Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, 10 a.m. to noon. I'm just getting my feet wet, uh, but this is what I've been really looking forward to. Why is that? You're just excited about, you know, putting the makeup on and getting out in front of a camera? Nah, no makeup. I don't need it. I'm, I'm, I'm cute, man. <laughs> What did draw you to this, though? Um, you know, just to be around football. And, you know, there's going to be a point in time where I can't do it anymore. And I'm going to have to be maybe switch over to the other side. And I decided to come to the dark side with you guys. 
There's one stop, misdirection and missed tackle. Another. Now he cuts back to the near sideline, picks up his blockers, and there's only daylight left. I played everywhere. I played in NFL, NFL Europe, Canada. But the one thing that I always think about is high school football. Catch the high school game of the week on CN100, Chicago's only complete game coverage. Saturday at noon and 4, only on Comcast Xfinity, Channel 100.